Throughout the offseason, Pro Bowl safety Jamal Adams kept challenging the Jets to move him. Joe Douglas, the general manager of the Jets, had a very good Saturday. They get two first-round picks, plus a third, plus a guy who can play. Like, they got a safety who can cover, and, and they, can, they can start right away. Joe, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? Gentlemen, how are you doing? We didn't, we didn't play theme music. I thought you deserved a King's theme music when you showed up on the show today. A little That's how highly music. Peter thinks of you. What do you say to Jet fans that say, okay, I like the deal. He got an unbelievable return when we didn't think he would, but he still traded the team's best player. Are you punting on the season and getting draft picks to, to build? No, we are not punting on the season. And I think I think what people are going to see is, is they're going to see a group of players that are in a fervor to, to prove that 6-2 and two last year wasn't a fluke at the end of the season. And we have the right type of guys. And we're, and we're trying to build this the right way. And we're trying to have the right type of character and chemistry within the organization. So we're, you know, the message to the fans is that we're trying to build this the right way. And it's, and it's going to be about the people. I was able to get on on a Zoom call with our college scouts and our pro scouts, and it was a great conversation. Just just letting them know uh, what we were doing, um, so they didn't they didn't hear it first on uh, ESPN or NFL Network, and how great an opportunity this was, uh, not only from the college uh, perspective, college scouting perspective, because we all know what what this means in terms of the draft capital we were able to receive over the next couple of years. But also on the pro scouting side, you know, the onus is on us, you know, and uh, those guys are excited about the challenge. We're all excited about this challenge and how it could really springboard this franchise, hopefully for the next decade. There is nothing like the buzz of the big city. It is here that the lights shine brighter. And the noise is constantly at a fever pitch. It's where everything comes to life. And everybody wants to be. Here, everything is magnified on the world's biggest stage. It is a privilege on behalf of the greatest city in the world to pay tribute to the greatest football team in the world, the New York Jets. In a city full of history, resiliency, twenty twenty has been one for the books. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin tonight with breaking news, two stark numbers that show how dramatically coronavirus has changed life in America. Tonight is an unprecedented time for New York State and New York City. All non-essential businesses close their doors. There is silence on the streets of Times Square tonight. This astounding and unprecedented story continues to evolve. The NBA is suspending the season. There will be no March Madness in 2020. The next league pressing pause on their season, the National Hockey League. For the first time, the draft will take place virtually. These are the troops on the front lines of this new world war. The nurses, emergency responders, doctors, scientists, and hospital staff defending us all against an advancing and invisible enemy. I can see how New Yorkers are responding. I can see how New Yorkers 
are treating one another. I see the 6,000 mental health volunteers. I see the 40,000 health care workers stepping up. I see the vendors calling me saying I can help. That's New York. That's New York. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep. I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York. If I can make it there, I'm going to make it anywhere. It's up to you. New York. New York. Hey, guys may want to upgrade their home Wi-Fi package, their home Internet package, because the virtual off-season program is now a reality for the NFL. What they're trying to do is take the program that would happen at the facility and simulate it for home use with study at home and with workouts at home. For the 2020 New York Jets, a turbulent off-season is requiring players to step up more than ever before. Lucky for them, 11-year vet Steve McClendon is one of the best leaders in the game. To me, the mindset never changes. Every single day is the exact same thing. Um, this year, it, is, it has given me a, 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 a higher level of focus and determination. Uh, 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 given, it has given me a renewed, driven mindset because of the things that I, I am doing off the field but it, it, it's putting in my mindset like, man, I am getting up there in the years um, and I want that championship bad. Not only do I want it for myself, but I want it for my teammates. I want them to understand that, man, this is, this is a great feeling because I know how hard it is to play that many games and fight for one common goal. And that's that Super Bowl trophy, that Lombardi trophy. A master motivator. McClendon is getting better with age. Without passion for this game, oh. it's nothing. Yeah. Right, right. Wreck something. Yeah. Be relentless. Yeah. At 34 years old, he's one of the most dominant run defenders in the game. We are the heart. Bring it. Man, make that stuff come out today, man. Yes, Give it all you got for 60 minutes. Everything is about the team. It's, it's, not, it's not about self. It's not about me. Uh, it's, it's, it's all about the team. And what we have to do as a team, we have to buy in wholeheartedly. We have to buy in to every minute, to every second, to every day, to, to every hour. Just we have to put in an extra level of, 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 of sacrifice, an extra level of focus. Uh, extra level of being driven because we only get one life to live and you only get one life to live in this business so for me personally the mindset doesn't never change but the goal the ultimate goal for us is to win the championship like that's all that's the only thing that's on my mind to absolutely win a championship from flowery branch to florham park Preparations for a season unlike any other are well underway. After winning six of their last eight games to close the 2019 season, the Jets will look to take the next step in 2020. Building a contender at one Jets drive is priority number one for Joe Douglas. 
In the teeth of an incomparable offseason, the second-year general manager went to work, revamping the roster and adding key pieces on both sides of the ball. Last August, Joe Douglas, of course, the GM of the Jets, told Mike and Chris Darnold, Sam's parents, that he vowed he would get playmakers and protection for their son. Well, he is a man of his word. New team and a new job for Frank Gore. Makai Becton is a guy that gives Sam Dorno comfort. They snagged Denzel Mims. You can't find athleticism like this very many places. I think there's a lot of needs that we, we're going to be attacking. We're going to look at every avenue to do it, whether it's free agency, whether it's the college draft. We are going to improve multiple positions. Joe Douglas, I, I just, again, I think it was a great signing. Of course, he's got history with Joe Flacco because he's been in Baltimore and all that, too. So that made a lot of sense. I thought it was a team where I could um, be a piece that plugs in and, and to, to really help it reach that next level and win a lot of football games. You tell they're competitive already, like, with, without even touching the field. You know, they mean business, so I love it. I feel like everybody was able to check their ego at the door and really have tough conversations. And at the end of the day, find the right players to help the New York Jets. Three days before training camp, Douglas sent shockwaves through the sports world as he executed one of the biggest trades in franchise history. Boom, Jamal Adams for two first round picks, a third round pick this year, safety Bradley McDougald. I was stunned that the Jets were able to get this kind of a haul. I think our initial talks uh, regarding the trade were probably wrapped in a conversation about something else uh, to start with. Um, you know, and then the topic of the trade came up um, and then it just went from there. I, I think when we got to last week and we, we realized uh, how aggressive uh, Seattle was and how aggressive their offer was and, you know, obviously uh, what they were trying to accomplish and uh, it, it really matched up with um, you know, some of the things that we were trying to accomplish in the deal. And so I think I think we when we got to uh, around midweek last week, we knew that there is a strong possibility that this this could happen. Yeah, it gives us great flexibility moving forward, not not only on the college side through the draft, but also in trades as they come up. So um, you know, having having four, four first round picks in the next two drafts, um, you know, sitting here for the 2021 draft with two firsts, two thirds, two fifths. Um, it's an exciting opportunity. Being able to get a player like Bradley um, to pair, to, to bring in uh, with guys like, like Marcus May, uh, who, who had a really good season last year and who we're all excited about this year. And a guy like Ashton Davis, um, who, who, brings, who brings a lot in terms of versatility, in terms of speed. But to bring in a guy like Bradley and do a little proven veteran, a proven starter going into year seven, the guy's been highly productive. The guy that's a consummate professional, extremely smart, extremely savvy, uh, always assignment sound, and productive when he gets his opportunities. 10 career interceptions, five inter interceptions over the last two years. So he's made the most of his opportunities when he's had a chance to, to get to the football. We're excited to add a player like him to our building. There, there was a lot of excitement, but uh, you know, no, knowing that, that, hey, okay, there's still a couple, couple things that need to be finalized before you can uh, you know, really put this trade in the books and move forward. But uh, it, it was, it was a good feeling on Saturday. This experience, you, you, you try to draw from, you know, what, what exactly you know, makes successful teams. You know, I, I firmly believe, and I've, I've made it no secret, my belief that it starts with people. And it starts with the type of, of people we have in here, and, you know, not only staff and coaches, but obviously the players and their their competitive drive, their will to win. We're trying, we're trying to build a great locker room. We're trying to build great chemistry. We're trying to build great culture. Adam brings enthusiasm. He brings passion. And uh, you know, just seeing him being able to uh, build a relationship with the team, build a relationship with, with Sam, we're going to see that come to fruition this year. Just excited about his message and what, what he's trying to build with our team. Hey, find a way to finish it. Hey, find a way to finish it. All right, let's go. Hey, let's get everybody to do their job, man. Let's finish it. Let's get this win. 
we lost a hell of a player. I mean, that that, that goes without saying. But being able to um, bring in a proven starter like Bradley, um, having a group of guys in that locker room that, again, um, staring at one and seven didn't flinch, you know, and uh, are hungry to build off of that finish from last year, that six and two finish from last year. You know, a quarterback that's going to get better every day. You know, um, an offensive line that's going to build chemistry. You know, a D, a D line that had a, a defensive unit that that had success last year and looking to build off that. There's a lot of competitive uh, juices in this building. A lot of guys that are hungry and uh, have, have desire to prove a lot of people wrong. For Joe Douglas, foundational pieces like Steve McClendon are paramount in building the right culture in Florham Park. As the 2019 team captain eyes his 11th professional season, he has an eye on the future with the opening of his new performance center in the greater Atlanta area. McClendon is working towards another dominant season in the Jets' defense while training and mentoring the game's next generation. I, I want us to be extremely successful. Not just successful, I want us to be valued. Like, that is a place that you can go and you feel like you're a part of the family. Right up, rule number one, don't be number two. That's the main quote of the day, every day. We're talking about someone who, who like, who's not selfish, you know, who's willing to give, like, everything he knows, who's willing to give everything he has, and, like, to come out here and support him, man, especially with how much he's taught me, how much he's guided me throughout this system. It's important to me, man, because, you know, he's like, he's like, you know what I mean? He's like a big brother to me. He is a big brother to me, you know what I'm saying? Let's react. Let's react fast, all right, baby? My number one goal is to make people better and make them be more. I really believe, I really believe in everyone. I, I always say there's enough negativity in the world to add to it. So I'm always add positivity. Every time they walk through that door, it's welcome to Team MVP. Every single time. They can go out and come back in, it's welcome to Team MVP. Man, what's that? What's up? How you doing? Thank you for coming, man. Of course. Thank you for coming. Of course. This is it, mama. Hey, well, give me a tour. Come on. Steve is very inquisitive. He uh, he has standards. You know what I'm saying? He works off of principles. He has a, he's a real has a real strong faith, and his whole goal in life is to help others. You know who this is? Oh my goodness, little girl. Mom. Come and give me some love, then no. you can go slide. No, 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 no. Give me some love, then you can go slide. That's Nana, and it's amazing. It's one of the greatest feelings ever that you've seen all these people that are around you, they just believe in you. For them to come out and support me, man, it means so much to me that they'll take some busy, take time out of their busy schedule and come out and just celebrate with me um, and the rest of the team for our grand opening. McClendon's relentless commitment to excellence doesn't stop on the field or the gym. He carries that same mindset while raising his four children. It doesn't matter, because everybody's still a genius. From the beginning, they told us that everybody is a genius. But if you judge, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. So think this, think about this. I always tell y'all, the reason why, put your feet down, Kevin. I just always say, I am a champion. It's because I want y'all to believe in yourselves. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need anybody else. I don't need anyone else to believe in you. I need you to believe in you. All you gotta do is just focus in, man. The last point we just talked about, how the whole body works together. We talked about the whole body works together. Every unique part of the body needs each other. So your body, like our family is one body. Our family is one body. But you have parts to your own body that has to work with, the, with your whole body. I just want you to understand, man, the whole part of this, the whole point of, of reading this part is being a genius. Know that you are a genius. You are a genius. You are a genius. You know what a genius is? Okay, you know what it is, Eli? You know what it is, Nisha? Y'all are geniuses, okay? I want y'all to believe that. The opinion of others doesn't matter. The opinion of others doesn't matter. What matters is what you believe about yourself. I'm going to tell y'all every single day. Don't I tell you I believe in you every day? Don't I tell you I believe in you every day? Don't I tell you I believe in you every day? 
So that, that lets you know that me and your mother believe in y'all. So that's the reason why we continue to do these things. All right, I am. A champion. I am. A champion. I am. A champion. Rule number one. Number number two. Rule number one. Number number two. Rule number one. Number number two. Work at the eliminates. Here. Here. Work at the eliminates. Here. Work at the eliminates. Here. All right. You. You. Break. Why you have on black sleeve? Jesus is a jockey. Yeah, but you have on white. You have white sleeve. And you got, why you got your socks on backwards? It's always been about the mindset. So I'm gonna try to attack that mind early, early in the morning. So one thing I tell them, and I, I'm gonna always tell them, put in so much work. You put in so much work for this one moment. But don't allow fear to come in. And that's the biggest thing. I just want them to understand, do not allow fear to come in. Because fear is just an illusion. It's, that's all it is, just an illusion from what they trying to take you or rob you from the joy that you have. You said your coach got your stick? Yeah, he, he said he, cut, he has to cut it. I am. I am. I am. Rule number one. Rule number one. Rule number one. Rule number one. Work at the eliminates. Work at the eliminates. Work at the eliminates. The three things that I tell myself before every game, I tell them the exact same thing. I tell them play fast, play hard, but most important, play smart. I will, as long as I have air in my lungs and I can breathe, man, and I, can, I have the activities on my limb, I'm gonna always be here and be there for them. My work ethic, my work ethic, I, I speak highly on my, my own work ethic, work, work, work ethic, because of the fact, what am I, what, am, what, what I'm speaking and what I'm teaching, it only matters if I'm putting it to work. It doesn't matter if I don't put it to work. So I have to make sure every single day that I'm putting, I'm putting my, my I'm putting everything that I talk about to work. So every day I walk in, I understand that my body language is gonna be everything. My mindset is gonna be everything. So the way, the way I, I carry myself, I understand that guys are watching. So I know, I know everything I show, I give off, it's gonna rub off on others. So I have to come in with the right mindset, with the positive mindset, with an upbeat mindset. Yeah. It's bigger than me. It's always been bigger than me. It's, it's not about I. It's always been about the team. And I realize that. So when I do not want to get up, I think about my teammates. I think about my family. I think about everybody that's depending on me. We have something special. I told them in the defensive room, we have something special. But the only thing that we have to add, we have to add sacrifice. We have to sacrifice a little bit more. We have to come together a little bit more. The formula for success doesn't change. There's a difference between good and great. See, good is always that competition with great. The standard is already set by greatness. So they don't need to compete with nobody else but itself every single day. See, good is always watch. Good is always watch. Good is mediocre. <clears throat> it's only a select few that are great. You don't have to have the most talent. You don't have to have the same ability to everybody else to be great. And I'm, I tell myself every day that I am a champion. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I'm gonna show you how great I am. All of this came because I believe. Feed that vision. Feed it. Put that extra work in. Never leave off this field without putting extra work in. Never leave off this field without putting extra work in. In the shadows of the city that never sleeps, the players and coaches are returning to one Jets drive. Ready to go to work 
and marking the start of an unprecedented chapter in team history. With who they play for written across their chest and a blank canvas in front of them, the 2020 New York Jets will paint their own story in between the white lines. Coming up next week on One Jets Drive. Head coach Clay Helton talked about his offense needing a spark, so they decided to go to the redshirt freshman Sam Darnold. I remember walking off that field going, oh my gosh, we got something really special. Sam has the ability to be the best quarterback in the league. This guy is as committed to doing this and being great at this and winning the Super Bowl as I've seen.